Okay, when we do basic operations, there are certain things that we need to know and understand. Remember, basic operations are just addition, subtraction, and multiplication and addition. However, when we apply this basic operations, which we always do use them, there are rules that govern that. And what I like to use most of the time is what we call the Potmas rule, which says brackets first, powers or exponents. I know in the in, in, in high school, we called it the off, which is one of the things that we use for multiplication. But in this instance, we're going to use powers or exponents, and we will learn about them in a later, at a later stage. Division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. However, there is a catch. When working with Bodmer's rule, it also tells us that division and multiplication have the same priorities. Therefore, if we have an equation where it has a division and a multiplication sign with it, we work from left to right. We're going to work from left to right, irregardless whether multiplication comes first or division comes first. What does that mean? It means if I have two times three divide by two. Remember, but, but mass. It says division and multiplication have the same priority. If we look at the but mass, we would have said we must do the division first, then do the multiplication. However, what we have learned is that we need to work from left to right. So it means since division and multiplication have the same priority, we can multiply two by three and then divide at the answer, which is six divided by two. So that will be six divided by two. Six divided by two will be equals to three. That is the rule of both mass. Similarly, same happens with addition and subtraction. With addition and subtraction, we also do the same. So let's say this is subtraction. Let's remove all of them. I'm going to remove all this. For addition and subtraction, let's say we have. Now doing addition and subtraction, let's say we have 4 minus 2 plus 3. And we need to solve this. In a way, we would have said 2 plus 3 because addition comes first and then the answer we subtract it from 4. However, we learned that because they've got the same priority, we work from left to right. So therefore, we're going to solve this side, which is 4 minus 2, which is equal to 2. And we're going to add 3, and that will give us 5. And that's how we're going to work through board mass rule. Okay, now. Let's look at more complex question. Before we do that, when we work with both math rules, sometimes we have positive and negative integers. So remember them from that time. Remember this, the following. When multiplying negative integers with negative integer, you will get a positive. Therefore, multiplying minus two times minus three will give you positive six. Multiply a negative integer and a positive integer gives you a negative, which means if we multiply minus two times positive three, we get minus six. Similar with multiplying a positive and a negative will give you the same. 
but multiplying a positive and a positive, you're always going to get a positive value. So multiplying two times three will give you six. It doesn't change the sign. A more complex problem of Bodmer's rule. Solve the following equation. Five plus 40 divided by five times into bracket, 12 into bracket, see? Five times into bracket, 12 divided by three. So we have, we have two brackets. One, two brackets. We learned from the Bodmer's rule says, if we have brackets, therefore we must do the brackets first. So the first bracket is the one that is inside. So we're going to do the bracket inside first which is which is that one so we're going to solve the division first solving the division we say 5 plus 40 divide by into bracket 5 multiply by the answer that we get from the bracket 12 divide by 3 3, 6, 9, 12, which equals to 4. It goes 4 times. We still have the bracket, so the next step is also... Sorry. The next step is also to remove the bracket that we have. To remove the bracket, we say 5 times 4 is equals to... 20. We go back to our Bodmer's rule. We have addition and then we also have a division. Division comes before addition. So therefore it means we need to solve the division side first. Solving the division side first. My technology is dealing with me here. Solving the division side first. We're going to find 20, 40 divided by 20, it goes two times. And the answer we have is 5 plus is 7. Oh, yeah, no. Technology, we, the answer we're going to end up with. Seven. So 5 plus 40 divided by into bracket, 5 times into bracket, 12 divided by 3, close bracket, close bracket, is equals to 7. And that is the answer for today.